Hello and greetings everyone. It's another lovely spring day here in uh, the UK. And not really going to talk anything about uh, the gods or the faith of the year. I was talking to an ex-partner of mine, crazy lady. She had to be to go out with me. Anyway, I haven't seen our talk in a long time, but she works for the National Health Service. And over the last couple of days, I've texted her to say, stay safe. You know, she does, she does a really good job um, working in hospitals. I'm very proud of her doing that, you know. Anyway, we got talking last night, and she says a lot of the people in the wards where she works are dropping like flies. Um, I said about the equipment they've got, and she says you've just got to do the best you can. You can't complain about nothing because, you know, you use what you can use. So, for all these people that work for the um, National Service and all these people that are carers, uh, on behalf of everyone, on behalf of the gods, I'd just like to say thank you. Same for the people working in the hospitals and the care service in America uh, and Canada, Mexico, South Africa, India, anywhere in the world, you know. Um, even Syria, Libya, all these countries that we've, we've normally had conflicts with their health service is doing a fantastic job to stop this, whatever this disease is, from destroying the human race. These are all doing a fantastic job. And you know, for years, people working in the health service have always been sort of frowned, not frowned upon, but no, no, I said the wrong thing then. They've never been frowned upon, but they've never been paid what they are value. Doctors, them, them get, doctors get a good wage. They do a fantastic job. But everywhere from security guards, cleaners, nurses, porters, ambulance drivers, most of them are on pretty low wage. And without every one of them, Without porters, cleaners, security guards, hospitals wouldn't be able to operate. <laughs> that, that was a that was a joke, you know. They wouldn't be able to operate. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Without these people, the hospitals wouldn't be able to operate to see to the sick. Um, without people, see the the domestic staff, the cleaners, they do their deep cleans on the intensive care units to get rid of all the viruses. Uh, the security guards are there to stop people coming in who are just drunk and being complete arseholes and there's nothing the matter with them. The porters are there to take people from ward to ward. The, the ambulance drivers are doing a fantastic job. At the beginning, I didn't think this was going to be as bad as it did. Uh, you can probably tell by most of my videos. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be as serious as I, uh, it has. But my ex-partner, when I talked to her two weeks ago, is when we started speaking again. Um, the reason we, we broke up, by the way, is she tried to murder us. <laughs> I just thought I'd let you know. Um, but we are, we are speaking again and just promised not to try and murder us again. Okay. Um, but anyway, a partner I was with now I feel sorry for, but that's another story. Anyway, she told me that um, two weeks ago, they lost 58 people in a week on the wards. 58 people that we, we didn't really hear about on the news. We heard the levels are going up all the time and whatever. Um, but in Northumberland, we didn't think we, we were getting it severe. Because when all this virus hit off, when it was up to about a thousand people in Northumberland, where I live, we had zero um, infected people. And now we'll move forward. And we export the works in Newcastle, so it's a bit more serious there, but we're still losing a lot of people. 
And if it wasn't for the health workers, care workers looking after the old, would be in a right sting hole. So, you know, hats off to all them care workers and hospital workers all over the world, doing your best to save the human race from its own misgivings, whether it's natural or man-made. Um, and another thing, I've been to hospital three times in the last year and all looking for serious things which I need the treatment for. Um, and there's a lot of people in the UK who need treatment aren't going to a &E. Now, if you need treatment, go to a and &E, get seen new. We don't want a lot of you dying through, you know, just not going to the hospital. They'll say to you, if you're sort of not serious, they'll say, fuck off home. But, you know, if you are, if you are in need of care, go to hospitals. Look after yourselves. Right, again, thanks to all the doctors, nurses, and even the doctor, surgeries, the receptionist, everyone. You know, thanks a lot for doing a good job and keep them all safe. Okay, heal the gods, heal Tia, heal Leia, heal your father. Toodles.